On this vote, the yeas are 51 and the nays are 45. Three-fifths of the senators duly chosen and sworn not having voted in the affirmative, the motion is not agreed to. Mr. President. The Senator from Rhode Island. Mr. President, let me ask uh, unanimous consent, if I may, for the Senate to uh, proceed to a period of morning business with Senators permitted to speak therein for up to 10 minutes each. Without objection. Thank you. Um, Mr. President, I will be closing the Senate very shortly. Uh, but before I do, I wanted to um, say a few words about um, a topic that came up today. Obviously, I was pleased that a majority of the Senate, indeed a bipartisan majority of the Senate, has just voted to eliminate an unfortunate gimmick in the tax code that allows people who make north of a quarter of a billion dollars a year to pay lower tax rates than a Providence, Rhode Island truck driver uh, pays if he's single. And um, I think that's pretty hard to justify, frankly. I think a lot of Americans spent last week preparing their taxes. And uh, having heard from Warren Buffett, who one year paid an 11 percent all-in federal tax rate, uh, a rate obviously higher than his secretary paid, something that Mr. Buffett himself has complained about, um, there's a pretty wide sense that the American tax code serves special interests and people who have phenomenal amounts of wealth much better than it serves regular middle-class taxpayers. 